Step number one is remove the cap from the existing wheel. In this case, we're going to remove this small set screw with the hex key. Drag that most of the way out. The cap pulls right out. And then you'll be getting the nut off that held the wheel on for however long. And in our case, we're able to do that with channel locks. The preferred tool to do that is a, uh, is a socket driver. But I know that this one will come off with the wrong tool. Once the nut's backed off, if you're lucky, the wheel will come off. If you're unlucky, you may have to use a wheel puller, which we can cover in another video. But in this case, I'm going to give this one a good yank, and it comes right off. So now we have our tapered shaft exposed. Just put the wheel right up there. I'm going to clean off the shaft and clean off the threads. Now, the wheel nut will be threaded with one of two thread patterns. We include inserts for both. It depends on what kind of steering, who manufactured the steering on your boat. But I'm just going to give this one a quick check and see if it's the right one. And I'm twice lucky today. So we'll keep this insert loaded into the nut. And the next thing I'm going to do is spread some of the tough gel lubricant that we include in each power wheel on the shaft so that we can remove the wheel easily the next time if we sell the boat and want to keep the wheel or we want to switch to a different style of wheel down the road. It just makes it a lot easier to get the wheel off in the future. So we include a few grams of tough gel in this uh, small blister package here. And we just spread a thin, it's very thick and goopy stuff. I'm going to get it right on the key down below. And this will stay on. It's hard to get off. Really persistent stuff. But it prevents that cohesion bond between the two metals and will make life easier when and if you need to take the wheel off in the future. And save this because it's handy in a million places around the boat. And okay, on wheels with a power knob, the power knob will be on the spoke with the key pointing at it. And as I've got this oriented right now, the key is pointing roughly down, so I'm just going to... There it goes right on. So the last thing will be putting the nut on and we've got the right threads in here. You want to be very careful when you put the threads on because they are plastic threads. They're very secure, but they will cross thread easily. And if you take your time and you do what my dad told me and go backward before you go forward, and if you're not using one of these plastic wrenches, be sure to either put some electrical tape or a cloth or both around the nut and the jaws of whatever it is you're using as a wrench and torque that baby down. Not too, too hard, just until it's nice and secure on the helm, and there you go. So if you have a wheel that's stuck on the shaft, you may need to use a wheel puller just like this, and these are widely available, auto parts store, um, Amazon, wherever, easy to find. And they just have these three jaws that will pick onto most wheels out there. And we've put some electrical tape on the wheel itself to pad the wheel from getting scored by the jaws. Uh, if you have a composite, one of our EC3 carbon wheels racing against the thunderstorm here, uh, you'll want to use a piece of cloth or something a little bit thicker than the electrical tape, but in this case, this ought to do a 
great job. And then we'll just use our adjustable. And really this will, you're looking for that first pop. You won't have to drag the wheel the whole way off. Once it starts moving at all, it ought to come right off. There it is.